In Dupling County are still without power, even after floodwaters have started receding. For many, that's meant no hot meals in days. WNCT's Elizabeth T was with a group of special volunteers trying to change that. For many families, this is the first hot meal they've had in days. Thursday, Rose Hill community members came together to take care of their own. Nearly 40 volunteers gathered at Rose Hill Magnola Elementary School to host a soup kitchen. Food, diapers, and water were donated by the pounds. On the menu was chicken and rice soup with your Dubin County chicken as well as vegetables, fruit, and dessert. People like Diana Barrara and her family have been without power all week, and it's taking a toll. Well, we haven't had any electricity, and well, we haven't been able to shower since there's no hot water, so it's been kind of tough. And then, like, the roads have been blocked by trees, so it's hard for us to get by, so we can't heat up anything or we can't cook anything because our stove is like, we use electricity to use it, so we can't do anything. Volunteers also distributed boxes of food and cases of water for families to survive on until the power comes back on. Many of the families I spoke with told me they're just grateful to have community members who care about them. Information from every family that's been here today has been collected, and volunteers will be checking up on them until their power is restored. In Rose Hill, Elizabeth 2, 9 on your side.